Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. It sounds really quiet out here today, but I imagine when we step into the barn it's going to be a different story. So let's go on and have a look. Okay, today we've got a lot going on. Um, Arnie's going to be heading to the field. Uh, he's going to take down our alfalfa field today. It's really late in the season, but uh, we've got such a heavy crop there that it's a shame to let it go. So he's hooked on the mower and he's heading out there now. And while he does that, I'm in charge of all these lambs. And we had a bunch more last night. Um, the jugs, as you can see, were on both sides now. And I'm going to try tag a few of these. Uh, unfortunately, they all came in a clump and a lot of first timers and a lot of multiples. So um, I want to get them out of jugs, but I want to make sure that they're safe to leave the jugs. So I've got to carefully go and assess them. And that is why I number them. So um, I'm at number 30 here. She's going to go into the watch pen because she has twin lambs and half an udder. Um, she must have gotten mastitis uh, last year or something or when she dried off. So um, the one next to her also, I just checked her. She's been trimmed and dewormed. I'm going to tag the lambs. Looks like she's perfect, ready to go out. And the one next to her as well. So I, I'm hoping to get three out today which will give us a little bit extra room. We got a lamb, a ewe getting ready to lamb in the other barn as we speak and uh, continuing with chores as well. So it's a busy day here. So I did all the chores in this uh, lambing barn. Um, nobody died over the night. Everybody looks all right. Um, this is the pen with the wee little guy. The, the littlest one is the one at the back there. Um, he drank a little bit out of a bottle today. So they're doing okay. These are the three new ones from today. All singles again. <laughs> That's okay. We got a uh, little boy here. And we got one from our spotty girl here. She has a little boy as well. Oh, she had hers last night. You have twin boys as well. Yes. This one was last night. She has a little boy as well. And finally we have Peanut here. Who also has a little boy. Really? Everyone in, that was born last night and today had boys. I just realized that. I actually made a mistake. This cute little spotty one had a, a little girl. You gave us a girl. She's fast asleep so we can't see her. But she's very pretty. Okay, so someone is thinking about one of these uh, Suffolk rams. And this is not the show group. This is the guys that are all for sale, and I'm trying to find uh, some above average ones. I mean, they're all above average, and look at, look at the personalities. This is 239. He's gorgeous. Like, he's built like a tank. He's beautiful face, beautiful disposition. Um... Definitely kind of like the uh, kryptonite style of ram. Just have to look up his uh, dad, but he's 239. And then, oh, look at this bruiser down here. Hello. Let's see you. You're a bruiser too. Really stocky boy, 237. Also, like, you'd be hard pressed to find a ram so nice. He, he's gorgeous. Built well. Um, nice size. Um, not too tall, not too short. Really thick. And then if you want a smaller, more Britishy style, 
Um, there's this guy. Also, like, adorable. Like, he is... I guess adorable is not the word you use for a ram. But he's 361, so this guy's a little bit younger. But, um, really thick, long ram. Shorter, more British style. Yes, you're 360. There, but there's the guy on the box. Like, like, look at him. And here's the more British style guy that I've been hacking away at. And people say, go get pictures of them, and it's like, they're, they're all so nice, like, how do you, how do you choose? But the guy on the box, yeah. You're, you're gorgeous, honey. You're a gorgeous boy on a box. Yeah, we can see you. You're posing nicely. Yeah. There we go. Nice from behind, nice length. <laughs> Good modeling. And this guy too. Like, yeah, we saw you earlier. You're what? 296? Yeah. Also, really, really stocky ram. Good head on him, good legs, good body, good length. This guy too. This guy might be a little taller, but, but nobody, like you saw our sheep at the show, nobody's uh, immense. The show guys call us small. And this guy who came over here, you're gorgeous too. Hi, who are you? 237. Very, very, very pretty ram. Did we get your number? Because your, uh, your posture is really good. Your posture is really good. You're 220. Hi. Can I look at your number? Can I look at it just a little bit? Two. Hi. Can we see? Two. 96, I think, or 26. 226. But too many nice ones in here. And there's my boy on the box still. Who are you? You're so nice. You're adorable. Look at that face. How could someone not choose you? You're perfect. Yes, you're perfect in every way. Yes. 239. We'll go see who your daddy is. Thinking he's a gladiator, but I'm not sure. The lambs have discovered the creep area. So they keep running in and running out of it. slow start, but once one sees uh, one nibbling away, the others will copy. And the ones that join the pen later will actually start eating earlier because they'll see all the uh, big guys eating it and they'll want to do the same thing. I bet. I 
pet you too, honey. Yeah, I do. I think you have a really nice one out there. She's 22. I don't see her. You got actually a boy and a girl. Oh no, that'd be 12. Oh, the 12s are in here either. Gladiator also has a little target you in mind there. He's hanging around with her today. These girls are supposed to be leaving on Monday. Only a few more days. These guys, I just let them out. They're in the good to go pen. I think they're doing great. See how she pushed one to each side? She's a good mom. And they're out. So since we are halfway done, a little more than halfway done, the Dorset ewes, we're now going to move them so that they're all on one side of the barn. That makes it easier for bringing them out for lambing. We still have a ram in here who's probably not doing anything, but just in case someone was open, he's still in here. And... Um, <laughs> We're going to bring the Suffolk breeding group over here onto the other side that was back here. Just because there's way more room in this barn and we thought they'd like it better. Okay, we're moving the breeding group over. They'll have a lot more room back there. Why aren't they going through? Hurry up, you guys. <laughs> you don't want any fighting. And the little show boys are all going to have a big pen all by themselves here. Go on. You too. There. It's a little more uh, freedom. <laughs> We don't want to put them back with the uh, other rams yet. We got a hawk in the yard that's trying to eat all my birds that come to the feeder. And he's sitting on my gargoyle right now. Just in the barn now for the final feeding before dinner time. And this is our only girl of the day. She's nursing off her mom. All three of the ewes that came in today um, are all first timers. Well, we are waiting to see if your little lamb has got spots. I know you have two lambs, but one doesn't have spots and one does. But most of these guys have been doing really good. This ewe had a really uh, big lamb. And she's one of my pet ewes. She's a Dordo. A Rito Dorset Cross. She's a real friendly ewe. And she had a really, really nice ram lamb. Oh, and here's your lamb. She has spots. Shall we come visit her? Shall we visit her? And here she is, the only you born in the last 24 hours. <laughs> That's your lamb. She's taking after you. She's got some spots. White, when you breed white, a white ram to a you, the white dilutes the color. So eventually, even if you had a colored flock and you used only a white ram, 
eventually <laughs> all your sheep would turn white. So if you want colors to stay, you should at least intersperse uh, a colored ram in your flock, or you'll lose the cute little markings. There you go. not hurting her. No, we weren't. We were just having a look because she was the only girl today. And you had two. You had two. And you're really spotty. But you didn't have two really spotty lambs. Now this one. This is the lamb that was really, really big yesterday. She was born the monster all yellow. Well, we assumed that she would be one we'd have no problem with because mom has lots of milk. But mom's a first timer and the lamb couldn't figure out how to nurse. So just now was the first time I saw the lamb on, a, on the mom nursing. He's only just, she's only just figured it out. Like you would assume that lambs figure it out as soon as they're born, but it can be a learning process. And sometimes first time moms are really nervous about nursing. See, it's trying now. I'll go out and see if it gets on. But we've been trying to teach it to go on and topping it up with a bottle. But it still doesn't quite, hasn't figured it out. But the tail's wagging. He's excited about it now. He could actually be, she could be nursing on the other side, actually. We're going to walk around and see. Because the mom's, mom's chewing her cud, so. And there we go. But she was frustrating us a little bit. Because she just wasn't getting it. But now they're both figuring it out. Mom didn't like it because the lamb hadn't nursed for a while and she was getting engorged, so she was sore. So as a first time mom, the lamb, us touching her teat, um, she wasn't too happy about it. But you just have to persevere. And uh, so they've got it. And then uh, I have a similar thing with this little guy over here little guy he's really tiny but um he's extremely feisty got quite the personality on him but uh mom was extremely nervous didn't like anything around her udder and stuff so we're still pinning her down and letting him nurse but uh he tries hard he, he's he's got the willpower that he's going to get it. But sometimes it's the lamb's fault and sometimes it's the mother. And then we have Peanut in here. And I've got a lot of peanuts on the farm. So this is my first peanut. And she uh, she has never missed a beat. And her lamb is already hopping around the pen. And this was the last one born today. And I looked on the video from yesterday and Peanut was one of the ones laying against the wall that I thought was going to have a lamb. And her lamb, see her face? Her lamb looks just like her. This, and Arnie's just grabbed our bottle baby. This is number eight. Her, her and her brother are bottle babies. That's the mom over there. Throwing a fit because we've got the lamb. How does she know I'm holding on to her baby? And she knows and she doesn't nurse it. That's the mom. Unfortunately, she's on the call list. She has no milk. I think she had, what, half an udder? And uh, Calamity's adoptive mom, that's her there, 23. She, uh, she's trying to nurse the lambs, but uh, she's slowly coming to her milk, but she just wasn't feeling well. But uh, she's so protective of Calamity and her lamb that when the others come near to take a bottle, 
She'll knock them away so that Calamity and her lamb can get a bottle. This is Calamity right here. Hi, sweetheart. Where's your, where's your mom? There. See, that's uh, her adopted mom and her adopted brother. And that worked out extremely well. That mom loves those two lambs. Well, this is Lynn and Calamity saying goodnight from the lambing barn as we get our final feeding done for the night. That was a nice wave, Calamity. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Yeah, you're a nice lammy. Good night, everyone. Hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Bye for now. We just had another monster ewe lamb from a really nice ewe. <coughs> little girl, she's been struggling for a while. Hi. Hi. You've got a nice lammy there. I think that's, I think that's, I think I can uh, feed him. I'll just uh, he looks like he's hungry. Yeah, for sure. But a female or male? Female. Oh, it's a keeper. I think it is. So we thought it was all over. And uh, as soon as you come in the barn, they all start lambing again. This is a beautiful, beautiful you them. Beautiful face on her. Beautiful body. Mom, mom did it all by herself. Someone asked me why I don't videotape our, our, them giving birth. Well, ninety, probably ninety-eight percent of all our sheep deliver them on their own when we're not even here, so I can't film that. And if I'm helping Ernie deliver a lamb. Um, I'm not running back to the milk house to search for my um, tripod, and, and nor do I have the time to carry a tripod around with me, so I, I film what I can when I can, um, and uh, unfortunately sometimes you won't see them actually being born, but uh, uh, in a lot of my past videos there's lots of videos of limbs being born as we film them so and I'm sure more will come but um, my profession is a shepherd I'm a farmer um, YouTube is uh, just something I do for fun okay so we're gonna try again say goodnight we just turn the lights off we got a bunch of little lambs lying on the box and on the bales in there, getting ready to sleep. And we got a whole bunch of moms still up eating and a new lamb. And we got a lot of the jugs along the wall filled up. And we still have another uh, you in the barn that's uh, going into labor, but she's not there yet. So we're gonna see you again tomorrow, hopefully. And until then, Bye for now.